Hey guys, I'm just recording this after. I already made the video. I uh, just decided to add this, and I think it is an important note. Uh, anytime you change, you know, between MME, WDM, uh, if you change the buffering, any of that stuff, if you go into here and change the, uh, you know, any of these settings, you will have to edit your delay again. You will need to tweak it. So make sure you get all that stuff set, you know, get your latent... Get your uh, buffering, choose WDM, MME, whatever you want. Get the buffer all set. Get all your audio quality set before doing this test. Uh, that's it for this uh, pre-note. Uh, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is just going to be a quick video on... Uh, if you have use voice meter banana and you set it to output to two different sets of speakers, maybe, you know, I got desktop speakers connected by the 3.5 jack. And I got TV speakers connected over HDMI. It's a TV soundbar. Now, my TV soundbar is behind me, and my speakers are in front of me. So I wanted this kind of surround sound effect, and I found that simply outputting them both in the program, they're out of synchronization. So, you know, people, when they talk, they'll kind of sound robotic and whatnot. But I found that there is a pretty easy... You could try to adjust it by ear, but it's hard to get perfect. But I found that there is a kind of scientific way to do it with Audacity. So I'm just going to open up Audacity. Free program. I'm going to... Now, I should just say that this program, this tutorial assumes you know how to use voice meter banana. And you know how to use Audacity. And you have a decent mic that can is good enough to pick up the sound of both speaker sets. And all we're going to do is just generate a tone. I just do half amplitude, half a second, sine wave, 400 hertz, and just hit OK. And then we're going to, you know, mute our second sound source and unmute our first sound source. And we're just going to hit record, but before we do, go to preferences, make sure your playback is voice meter input, because if you have it set as default in your uh, Windows settings, Audacity doesn't recognize the Windows default unless it's set to Microsoft Sound Mapper. <clears throat> so let's double check, make sure it's that. Uh, make sure you have your microphone selected and set it to mono. Uh, mine is a stereo microphone. It will record two channels. Like, I don't know, you might be able to hear it now, me kind of going left to right. But this for this test, we're just going to do mono. Right? Uh, unmute first sound source, mute second sound source, and just uh, here, this is the other thing, make sure this is 000. If you want, just click and just hit 000, automatically moves next boxes. In this, we're just going to do 100. Cool. So, hit record. You'll hear, it plays a tone. It automatically stops, so you don't have to click. And then all we have to do is mute this. Unmute our second sound source. You can do it through a voice meter by just hitting these tabs, but I have a TV remote control and we're going to mute our first sound source and hit record so yeah it's off it doesn't line up we I knew that was going to happen uh, cheat just to get close the first time uh, you're going to click at the top of the first peak and just drag it over to that second peak and look at that make sure this is selected length and you know, 110 milliseconds 0.110 seconds is 110 milliseconds, 1,000 milliseconds in a second. Just go up to menu, system settings, delay. This is my A1. This is my A2. Since my A1 is ahead of my A2, I want to add the delay to the A1. Pretty common sense. 110 milliseconds, hit enter. Close out of that. Delete both these tracks. Mute my second sound source. Unmute my first sound source. Um, zero this back out again. Uh, one second on this again. Zoom, I'm just going to zoom out so I can see and hit record. Basic. Unmute second sound source. Mute first sound source. Record. Look at that. They line up. For the most part, uh, you know, it's point zero, uh, 2 milliseconds off. You're not going to notice that uh, unless you got like the specialist ears in the world. I don't even know if it's technically off. These might be corresponding. Who knows? Uh, anyways, you know, you, the effect is barely noticeable at 100 milliseconds, tenth of a second. So when we're talking two thousandths of a second, 
it's not going to make much difference. So you do this, you tweak around with it, get these waveforms to line up with each other, and bing, bang, boom, you got poor man surround sound. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If it's a question that you can, you know, if it's a question relating to this test or something, don't ask me questions about how to use Voice Meter Banana because there's plenty of online resources. It's a simple program. Other than that, thanks for watching.